Google My Business. Is it open? Is it closed? Temporarily open? Permanently closed? It can be quite confusing sometimes when you want to delete your business, you want to move your business, you want to open it for just for a temporary moment, you want to close it just while COVID comes and goes. There's no doubt about it. This has been a very confusing time if you're a Google My Business owner. So what do you do? And what do all these various terms mean? And how can you change them so that they're correct and representing your business without losing traffic and losing all the traction you've gained by optimizing your Google My Business listing in the past? Well, this video is ideal for you because I'm going to show you all the various types of openings and closings there are. I'm then going to show you how you can control each one. And also, I'm just going to unravel a few myths because Google's even changed what it does in the last year. So it could be that even a video that's older than a year on YouTube is given information that's no longer correct. So this is correct at the end of 2020, moving into 2021. And hopefully this is going to be useful for you. So welcome to this video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses grow and particularly wanting to help businesses learn from perhaps my mistakes and learn also from some of the optimization that I've done through Google My Business and also trying to get more traction in Google search engine and get traffic and new clients. So if you are a business, whether you're a shop, or whether you're a business that's giving services, you should find this video really useful. If you've been particularly confused on how Google My Business should be represented when it comes to opening hours, holidays, and also even things like the attributes of, do you have dine-in? Do you do takeaways? Do you do delivery? How do you get those green ticks as well on your business? Well, we're gonna look at all those things in this video. So let's first of all explain the most obvious one. So I've done a search here for restaurants in London and I can see here this one closes at two o'clock. So that's just in under an hour. So you find when the time gets close to an hour of either opening or closing, then you'll notice it goes amber or goes orange. So this is purely down to the fact that they've entered their hours. There's their hours, they open and close. So at 4.30 this afternoon, then it will go amber and it will then say open soon. So basically it closes uh, and opens in amber when you're an hour either side of an opening or closing time. So that's just the reason why we see that. So that's nothing really major, but open soon, closes soon, can be used particularly on restaurants. That's quite useful to know. Okay, let's look at the next one then. So let's just take closed itself. So if we come down here, so there we've got one that's closed. So what does that mean? And so let's click on there. So you'll notice at the moment, they do dine-in, takeaway, delivery, which we'll come on to in a moment to show you how to get that. But you'll notice it's just closed. So that just means that at the moment on Friday, they're not open until 5.30. So at 4.30, that will turn to opening soon. And then at 5.30, it will say open. So it literally is open or closing. And you can see that because it tells you the next time it opens is 5.30. So that's kind of a useful signal. So again, doesn't mean anything other than it's just an opening or closing on the shop itself. But what about when you start getting things like temporary and permanent? That's where the confusion seems to be. So here we've got this one here then, temporarily closed. What does that mean? So we click on it and you'll notice here, it's basically saying at the moment they have told Google that they're no longer functioning and no longer open. We can see that on a couple of these here. And obviously due to COVID, this has been very much the case for many of the businesses. If they can't offer the dine-in takeaway delivery type service, then they're just closing and hoping that in a few weeks time, they'll be able to open up again. Now you'll notice though, that it could be that they have reopened. So this might be the, the first lockdown meant that they closed on a temporary basis. And that means the business is still there, but at the moment they're not open for custom. And it does give an opportunity that if you know they've now reopened, but they've forgotten to update this, you can help. You can click on here and you can say that if you think that's wrong, that they are now open again, you can then suggest an edit. So if you click on suggest an edit, and then I can click on there to say, I think it's reopened. I'm not going to do that because I don't know at all and that wouldn't be fair. But if you do know a business is open, that just helps. I think probably if Google sees a few of those on a business, they'll then just manually check to make sure that's the case. So that's what happens when you're temporarily closed. In a moment, I'll just show you how you can make sure that you are temporarily closed. There's a couple of ways to do that if that's what you want to do.
Now there is one other thing as well, which is I'll just head over to here. What happens if you permanently close? So you notice here we've got um, a department store that's now permanently closed. Well, again, it could be that someone buys it out and they want to reopen it. So I can suggest an edit and say, actually, it's been reopened with the same name. But if it's been permanently closed and it's got no chance of opening up, then that information continues to remain. And this has been where one of the biggest confusions has been, is that when you permanently close uh, uh, an area or a business in Google, can you actually make it disappear? Can you delete it altogether? Well, the facts are that in 2021, as we just come up to it, and as Google My Business stands, it is not permanently deleting in any way the information it has. Now, it may mean that it doesn't show up and it certainly shows up as not existing, but those businesses that are permanently closed at the moment, as it stands, you can't totally remove it from Google. And that's the reason really for this video. Now, whether that will change, whether that's because of the amount of complications due to COVID, who knows? But you'll notice that that's the stage as it currently stands. Okay, so how do you get this permanently closed? If you wanted to close it, how can you get the temporary closed? How can you even update your times? Let's go into show you how to do that. And so one of the things you can do is you can click on to your manage locations. You can then click on a location and then you can say you had several locations at that moment there. You can reopen it if it's closed. You can temporarily close it or you can permanently close it or you can remove the location. So you've got a few options here. That's one way to do it. But when you do those things, and I'm not going to do them, you just need to make sure that you recognize that the one thing that will never disappear is a trail of the fact that the business was there in the first place. That seems to be Google's standing at the moment. And a lot of people don't like that. And I can understand why with GDPR, you'd expect them to be able to totally dismiss a business. But at the moment, that doesn't seem to be the case. So another way you can go about it is you click on info. You notice here on the right hand side, if it isn't opened, you need to open it up. You've got, again, three choices here. You can mark this business as temporarily closed or permanently closed. You can also remove it from your account. Now that bit there is where people get muddled up and I've got muddled up myself. So let's just run through these three things. So you can mark this business as temporarily closed. So that takes us so that the status is like this, where you can reopen again in the future, or someone can say that you're opened. So we've covered that one. The second one is you can mark it as permanently closed. And that's the one we've got here. So this is permanently closed. But once again, someone could come along and reopen it if it's bought out by another company. And then the third one is you can remove your listing. But that doesn't remove you totally from Google, so you don't exist. What that does, it removes you from your managed location. It just means you can't manage the business anymore. So that's the kind of the clarity I wanted to get from this lesson with you today is that that is not the case. You don't actually lose your business altogether. You just lose the rights to editing that business. So you might find in a few months time, if you do a search for your shop or your business, it still exists as is the case here with uh, this shop here, as we saw. It still exists, it's still there. Now it's open to someone else to come and manage it. And that's obviously something that probably I think in 2021 is gonna be readdressed by Google, because it does feel like it's uh, leaving a lot of businesses that are closing and yet still remaining there on Google's map and search engine. So as we just mentioned in this video, it's really important to understand how attributes can be controlled by you in Google My Business. So for instance, if you've got the right attributes for your business, if you're a plumber, it might be to say you're a 24 hour plumber. If you're a restaurant, it might mean you do takeaway services. If you're a consultant, it might mean you do video conferencing. The fact is depending on your business will depend on what Google attributes give you, but you need to enable these things. So it's really easy to do. So I've produced this video that's gonna show you now how you can do it. Don't miss it because it will actually improve your ranking if you get these attributes correct. And it will obviously have an impact on whether visitors come along and see your business. But if you're looking to how in more detail, step-by-step -step detail of how to delete Google My Business and to see it all the way through, then I've also produced this video that's gonna take you all the way through how to delete your Google My Business page.